Hey, review time! An oldie but a goodie. The Pentax K100D. This camera came out way, way long time ago in the year 2006. So it's it's fairly old, 14 years old here in 2020. So uh, six megapixel camera, uh, which is not a lot of megapixels, but uh, as you'll see here later, that uh, the image quality is really good. Um, just to talk about this, uh, the, when this was originally released, it cost $700. Now you can buy it used for only 100 bucks. So if you're looking for an entry level or a, you know a, a, a DSLR on a budget to get started in photography, I strongly recommend this. This has some features that uh, some of the other cameras, the Canon and Nikon's, didn't have at the time at all. This camera, even though it's old, it has uh, image stabilization in the body. That is a huge uh, thing about Pentax. They've always had little extra features in there that, that make their cameras just a little bit better than some of the Canons and Nikons. Uh, now you're wondering um, how this feels. It feels great in your hands and all the, all the buttons and knobs are in a really nice place on this camera. Um, it's very comfortable to use and that's that's one of the main things on a camera. You want to make sure it's comfortable in your hand and uh, easy for you to use easy for you to use. Uh, the menu, menu system is really uh, user friendly. Now if you already have a Pentax it's a little bit different but it is very user friendly and there's a lot lots of features packed in there for the money. Uh, the the screen on the back is fairly nice. It's not as nice as nowadays uh, cameras but you can definitely see everything. It's, it's uh, nice. Um, with the, these cameras what is what uh, what would you get nowadays that you wouldn't get out of this? Well, of course, megapixels. This is only six megapixels. But if you're just putting stuff on the web, it's fine. I don't think you're going to, um, as you'll see with these images I'm going to show here in a minute, uh, how good they are coming out of this camera. Um, also, low light performance has gotten better over the years. That's the main thing uh, from old cameras to nowadays cameras. Um, some of them have a few extra features, but you'll find that the 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 main feature that's constantly gotten better is the low light performance. But I was really surprised with this camera. I, I, I took a shot at its highest ISO, ISO 3200, and I thought it was going to be just complete garbage. But you can see here, it's, it's not really bad uh, considering. Um, so there you have it. I mean, that's not uh, that's usable, I would say. Um, and let's see. Uh, yeah, let's let's just. Let me just show you some images. These are all straight out of camera. I just walked around the, the neighborhood and I shot them with the kit lens that this came with, the 18 to 55 millimeter. And also, uh, some of these shots were taken with the 70 to 300 Tamron as well. But yeah, these are all straight out of camera, no edits. It's fairly nice quality for this uh, 2006 camera. Um, so yeah, enough said. This this camera you could buy a use for only 100 bucks off eBay. I strongly recommend it if you're getting into photography and don't want to spend a lot of money this would be a great camera for you and I think you'll really enjoy shooting with it um, yeah thanks for watching go ahead and subscribe I've got tons of other Pentax videos photography videos so check out my channel thanks for watching